We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM and coach, Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Los Scandalous Damned Battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. Second down in a very lot. He just picked the receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. Oh man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I'll teach you a lesson. What lesson, he said. Oh man, what a thrill. Just that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and eight to go. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and seven. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. And the kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. You're like a monkey trying to fuck a creature. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, I know I just said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. with the punishment. 
finishing hit. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? Second down and six. He's not going down. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Third and four. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. What's the engage? He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Third down and three. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shot there. He did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she... Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. You know this berserk daddy can't stand in a cubic. Oh, nice hit! And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Third down and eight. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponent. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Good thing they have a good test in the NFL because whatever the cuts down, and he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not clenching his kicks though. No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. <laughs> you want to get some fun on your time. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he recovers the fumble and runs it back for a defensive score. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. <laughs> Home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, good game for Tanner. I don't even get how much. And it's first and ten. One speed engage. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Sure, my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Second down and two. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break ten. Oh, and he looks 
Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. First and two. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Second down and six. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, I am a hell of a fellow. And it's first and ten. And he picks up. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Second down and six. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap! Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy. I'm not saying the rap has been rhymed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. Second down and long. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the... And that is caught for a first down. <laughs> Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. Was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And that'll be second and eight to go. He is fighting for every yard. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that's their last time out. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player! The quarterback throws a murder ball. He could go all the way. And the defense is on his heels. He says, gets the ball, get the first down, and don't... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL.